Good morning and welcome to another video. How are we all? Please do two things for me for that fucking sick absolute intro. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, you already am subscribed and we'll go straight into it. It is push day today so we're going to do a fucking push workout mate. So we are, woo, tired of day boy, tired of day. Took a scoop and a half of pre-workout. And we're just gonna go in and fucking kill it. Kill it. That is going down as just above, just above average session, mate. Nothing spectacular, nothing to boast home about. I've only got one tiny little bit of footage for you and I'm gonna play it over now whilst I talk over it. Uh, how to get yourself out of a fucking field, a field rep, mate, when you're on the bench press. See if you're looking in now, looking, still watching. This is what I found the safest way on how to get out of a field rep. Lower the fucking, lower the barbell down to your chest, mate. And push the barbell away from your face. I see a lot of people trying to bring it over, back over their head, mate. You're just gonna choke yourself out and potentially kill yourself. You need to get the bar, put, you need to get the bar away. Away from your actual throat, mate, so you don't choke to death. So push it away for you, down towards your legs. And then just stand up with it, mate, and you'll be fine. One more thing before, well, before we come back. One more thing. Don't be afraid to fail, mate, in the gym. Because you're not, if you're holding back every time you come in, you're not going to know where your limits is, mate. Don't be afraid to fail. Do not worry what anyone else thinks, mate. Everyone else in that gym has got their own problems and worries and doubts in their own head, mate. They're not worried about you. Push yourself in the fucking gym. You're only there for an hour, an hour and a half. Push yourself, work hard, and I guarantee you'll reap the rewards. Fucking look at that time, mate. Half twelve. I'm only home, boy. Half twelve. Only home. It's a. Uh, it's a late one. Tired. Very. Tired. Fuck me, could you imagine if that just, could you imagine if that just went Be all the place. That's not the child crying, that's a TV. Work time again mate. It's like half twelve. Back to the grind. Quarter to seven in the morning, mate. I think I've only had like five and a half hours sleep. I'm very tired. It's two days after the last clip. Last night I didn't finish. I didn't get back to the house till one o'clock in the morning, mate. One o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. It's pull workout today. See you, sir.
good morning. I've already said good morning to you. I'm not too sure. But good morning anyway. That's pool workout done. I don't know what has come over me, but I am fucking exhausted, mate. Absolutely exhausted. I could honestly go back home and go to sleep for about three days. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Probably due to this new timing of work. Maybe. I reckon. But whatever it is, it's kicking my fucking arse, mate. I need to go home now and see what the Shrell and Shale are doing. Because I just don't want to spend my two days off work sitting in the house, mate. I want to go and do shit with the family. I am fucking knackered. We all get tired from time to time, people. We all get tired. Oh. Mad son. <gasps> Look who's that. Who's that there? Who's that? That's Eva. <gasps> What's going on everybody? How are we all? Okay. It's McDonald's time again. Two videos in a row. Okay. Spicy signature burger mate. Hey. First time trying this. Let's have a hey. bite. Let's see. Hey. Oh, nom 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 nom. Mmm, that is unbelievable, mate. Mmm, <sighs> smell that fresh morning air, by. What's happening, everybody? It's Sunday morning. It's motherfucking goddamn leg day, bitches. That was a nice two days off there I had. Tuesday, no, Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. Fr Friday and Saturday. My working day. My first Sunday I've worked in a long time. We'll see what that has in store. But first of all, that's train legs, mate. So my warm up routine, I got that from the Squat University page on Instagram. I'll put their link here, or another link, I'll put their tag here. Go check them out if you haven't already followed them. Sort of routine to pick, but now I'm going to actually teach us a simple, very simple and effective way of how to cre create a program with exercises, etc, etc, etc. I'll try and keep it brief, sharp, straight to the point. The first main thing I would say is to base each day around a specific compound movement. Squat, bench, deadlift, shoulder press, bent over row. The list goes on. And we're done. Where's my car keys? In my pocket. And we're done. There is, see when you get up early in the morning, smell the fresh air and then go and do something productive. Just makes like makes you feel like you've achieved so much before the day has even started. Burn a man, it's like half seven in the morning. Sunday morning. Fuckers are still in bed, mate. Fuckers are still in bed dying of hangovers. Nah, no, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that there's more to life than fucking doing that type of shit, mate. Do you know what I mean? There's more to life than spending it in bed. Shut the fuck up. In bed. Doing nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. Get up. Smell the morning air. And you'll be fucking rewarded with a great fucking feeling, mate. I can promise you that. Oh my fucking days, mate. It's a couple of hours after the last clip. Look at the fucking temperature. 30 fucking degrees, mate. 10 to 1 in the afternoon. 
I have to go to work in this. My car hasn't got air conditioning. All the win all the windows are down. No air conditioning. Need to get it fixed. Don't ever get it fixed. I tend to just leave it because I'm a lazy, lazy fucker, mate. Work time. But first, I need to stop off at the garage and get myself. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> You're right. Tin of white monster. Tin of white monster. White monster, white monster. Just like that. We got ourselves a tin of white monster and top tip for dieting. Another top tip for dieting. Flavoured water, mate. Flavoured water. I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you. I'm, I'm genuinely telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling Quarter past six in the morning. Everyone's still in bed sleeping. We're up breathing in the mighty fresh air. Keeps you grounded this sh this shit, mate. Compound movements. The reason why I put compound movements first is because they're the most taxing and the most energy zapping movement of the whole the whole session mate because it's a compound movement do you know do you know, do you, do you know what a compound movement is it's a movement that 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 uses more than one muscle group so you're not isolating the muscle you're you're using a in essence near enough every single muscle in the body for example the squat mate the squat is not just a ham a hamstring or a quad dominant focused exercise it's a full body movement so it is so that is the reason why i put it first and they also take the longest out of the whole session because there's longer rest periods in between compound movements mate and you also get the most bang for your buck so to speak as in what them Americans like to say. You can, in theory, go into the gym and do just a compound movement session and leave with still having a great fucking session and still making progress. Well, that's the reason why I put them first. And then I move on to accessory movements. Right, so I'm gonna wrap, we're gonna wrap the video up here, but, but firstly, I just wanna have a couple of minutes of your time just to go over the final part of designing your own program. I'm going to walk you through my program that I'm running at the minute. I wish I could find a way to put this in the description box below, but I don't know how to do that, mate. And if anyone knows how, I can put my program in the description for you to download and run yourself. Please let me know in the comments box below, because I'm completely computer illiterate and haven't got a fucking clue, mate. So we're going to talk, I'm going to walk you through my program and my theory behind it, why I choose, why I do it the way this is, all right? So let's get straight into it. So as you see, here is my actual program. It is a legs, push, pull, legs program. So I train four times a week, getting legs in twice a week. Why am I doing that is because I feel like legs are my leg and body parts and this is what I would suggest to use is if you have leg and body parts is train that muscle group more frequent each week and you will reap the rewards mate. So at the top the first exercise in each session as you can see is a compound movement. So we have squats, bench press, on down I get a bit more deadlift and then last last session of the week is squats again so I told you like like I said halfway through this video I always put the compound movements first because they are the most taxing and they they take up the most energy out of the whole session so there's no point in putting them smack bang last when you have haven't got the energy anymore to perform them maximally um with the right the right mind frame, if you know what I mean. So I always start off with a big, heavy compound movement first. Then I move on to what I like to call just accessory movements. So here we got 
leg extensions, leg press, Bulgarian split squat, hamstring curls, and then finally calf raises for leg for leg day one. Sets and reps aren't really something that you should be worried about too, too much for a for just across the board average each body part i would say you need to train a minimum of around 15 sets per week for any lagging body parts i would probably bump that up to maybe 20 22 sets per week that is all you need to do reps anything between six to 12 reps mate it does not really matter just you pick something that you enjoy doing and then go for the mirror so that's that's my leg they explained there's just for example here is push work here is um push workout so bench press big heavy compound movement first single arm dumbbell dumbbell shoulder press incline dumbbell press leg press because i like to do legs i like to do one set of legs on each pull and pull session cable flies tricep extensions and hammer curls exactly same the most taxing thing first the most taxing exercise goes first work off it there i wouldn't actually delve too far into it i would just choose or create a program that you enjoy doing mate trust me on this if you enjoy going to the gym you're going to go to the gym more which means you're going to create you're going to adhere more more gains man do you know what i mean but just picking that pick exercises do you enjoy doing put the most strenuous ones at the start and then just go for the mirror 15 sets per body part a week is quite suffice lagging body parts i would probably put up to about 20. reps anything between 6 to 12 15 if you want if you want to train in 20 rep range train the 20 rep range there is no there is no fucking perfect program. The perfect program is the one that you can stick to the longest. That's all I can say. But I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Please hit the, hit the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. Share this video if you think it will help any of your mates organise or create their own programmes. Next video is going to be a day in the life. Have a wonderful evening, day, or morning, wherever you're listening to this. And I'll see you in the next one. Let's go, boy.